Welcome to this Kitty Cook tutorial on how to make some vegan chocolate chip cookies. When we're cooking, we need to know how to measure things. So we use measuring cups and measuring spoons to do that. The standard measuring cups look like, well, they all look different, but the standard sizes are one cup, which is the biggest one. And then they get smaller to half a cup, a quarter of a cup and an eighth of a cup. So they divide by two each time. So if you have two of these, you'll get one of these. Two of these equals this and two of these equals this. If we, we use the measuring cups to measure big things like flour or sometimes milk or a big quantity. And then if we're measuring smaller amounts, then we use spoons, measuring spoons. And they're divided into tablespoons, which are, um, the big one is the tablespoon. And then the next one down is half a tablespoon. And then we go to one teaspoon, half a teaspoon and a quarter of a teaspoon. We're going to see how we should use these by making a very simple recipe. So we're going to make some vegan chocolate chip cookies. So the first thing we need is our oat flour, which is basically just blitzed up oats. So the first thing you need to do is get the correct amount in the scoop. Now if you take a lot like this, it's much more than one cup. So you need to use something to level it off. So you can take a spoon or a knife and basically just smooth it over the top of it so that you've got it nice and level. And then you can put that into your bowl. And then we're going to add all the dry ingredients together first. We're going to use some coconut sugar. And for this, we're going to uh, add half a cup. You can use any sugar. And we're going to do the same. We're just going to level it off um, like that. You can use less, um, but um, I'm going to use half a cup for today because it's a special treat. And then we're going to add our bicarbonate of soda. That's one of our small things. So then we need to use our half a teaspoon. So you just look for the right numbers. So that's the fraction half, and then it's abbreviated to TSP. So that's teaspoon. So again, that's too much. So you just level it off like that, and then you can pop that in. And then um, salt we're going to put uh, just a quarter of a teaspoon so that in. and then if you give that a little mix like that. and then we're just going to because they're a special treat we're going to put in some chocolate chips these are dark chocolate chips um, which you could make yourself but otherwise just use one from a bar and then we're going to add in our liquid so we're going to use some oil you can use any oil or butter and we're going to put in two tablespoons of milk and this is rice milk but you can use any that you like and you might need to add a bit more liquid afterwards but you'll just have a look and see how it looks two tablespoons of oil so you can use any uh, oil you like and then some vanilla so it's a, just a tiny amount of vanilla so you're going to add that quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla and then just all together to form a dough and if you need to add a little bit more milk or oil to bring it together then that's fine but it is a biscuit dough so you want it to stay quite thick and then if you've got nice clean hands because you should have washed them before you started press it together. Now this dough does need to sit in the fridge to rest a bit 
So once you've squished it together, you can put it into the fridge for a couple of hours or just as long as you can be bothered to really, to wait so that it sticks together. So we'll put that in the fridge and then we'll come back to it a bit later. We're ready now to um, start to put our uh, dough onto our baking sheet. So um, I'll just finish the recipe with you in case you want to um, have a go. So with clean hands again, wash, having washed them for 20 seconds with soap and water, um, you can just take little pieces of dough in your hands and pop them onto a greased baking sheet like this. Give them a squish down and um, and put them on the sheet and that's that. So now they're all on the tray, they're ready to go into the oven which I've set to 160 and you can get a grown up to help you with this. Um, so just carefully popping them into the oven and we'll come back for them in about 10 minutes. As the biscuits are finished in the oven, so I'm going to show you um, what they look like. In the oven, and you can see they've gone nice and flat, and now they're ready to scoop out. Uh, so these biscuits are a special treat, and they do have one about one tablespoon of coconut sugar in per each one, so they're definitely a special treat. But what they have in their favour is that they're very um, that they're made using all natural ingredients, they're totally homemade, they don't have any preservatives or any nasties in, um, so perfect for a treat. I hope you enjoy!